we are down here on the early part of the cross country course. Two accuracy questions in and out of water to make sure the horses are already listening to the riders. They carry on down to another combination before sweeping back round into the water for the second time. Log, curving line to a big drop into water through the brush. I don't think you'll be seeing horses and riders at this level having problems there, but it's the out. It's the out that's going to cause the problems. Two very acute shoulder brushes on a bowl one stride out of water. Really checking in, have the riders got the horses between their leg and hand, and have they got them balanced coming out of the lip out of water. They're numbered separately, so riders do have the option to circle here, but with so many Olympic hopefuls on the starting list, I don't think you'll be seeing that done very often. So we are further out on track and course designer Helen West has been really, really smart with this very influential fence. She has opened up horses and riders before they have to come down a gear back to this rail in. It's in over the rail and then a short bounce distance out over the open ditch, heading on to what is going to be a very tricky skinny shoulder brush. The horses can't really come over this and read the question early enough. So it's up to the riders to really get them back and steer where they're going to go. Then there is a long route. They can go out over the open ditch over there at A, round back over the rail, one stride over the ditch here, and then a much nicer line to the skinny. But with such a competitive field in all of the classes, I don't think you'll see many people trying the long route. I think everyone is gonna have to go for this direct route if they want to be competitive. We are at one of the final combinations out on course. After yet again another steep hill, it is important for the riders to give their horses a chance to refill their lungs before heading on to what is a very big octa in. Then the important bit is keeping the horses straight on this curving line round to this very big corner at the B element. Four or five strides depending on how they jump in over the oxa. Now, heading on to the C element here. This is where Bicton really comes into its own, using its undulations just to add that extra level of complexity to the four-star track here. This walks on a very bold three strides, encouraging the horses perhaps just to run down the hill onto the forehand. But if you have an uncomfortable jump over the corner, there is space. It's not a very wide fence perhaps to get them on their hocks and add a four-stride in here. The horses and riders can practically glimpse the finish at this point, but there are still a few more obstacles and questions before they can cross the ultimate finish line here at Bicton. <laughs>